Hey guys, what's going on? So now I've got another Metallic review. Since I reviewed Ride the Lightning, I kind of had an itch to do this one. So Master of Puppets, an absolute classic. The first Metal CD I ever bought. And the album, like, Ride the Lightning had this song that got me into Metal, but this album um, is just the whole overall album that got me into Metal. Because my dad had a cassette tape, which I have now, and he put that on one time, and I remember listening to it and thinking it was fucking sick. But yeah, this is just great. Uh, my second favorite Metallica album. Next to Injustice for All, um, this is just a masterpiece. And yeah, the only reason oh, I don't, this is my favorite Metallica album is because, like, um, I don't know, there's just something about Injustice for All that's better, but if, it, if there was no Injustice for All, this would definitely be my favorite Metallica album. And yeah, so here's the album cover, extremely, extremely iconic, you know, with the, the graveyard and, like, that um, army man hat there. It says Master Puppets and the Metallica logo and those hands. There's the back, very basic, with just a logo and the track listing and that weird thing where it says it was taken from the um, original uh, analog equipment, which is really weird, but yeah, I don't know. It says it's on analog, and it's like a warning that it's re it was recorded on analog equipment, which is really stupid, because a lot of albums are recorded on analog equipment. I actually prefer that kind of sound over digital, because digital, honestly, to me, um, sometimes it gets kind of... It kind of ruins the heaviness of an album sometimes, or I don't know. But there's the spine, very basic. Here's the disc. So it's exactly the same as on Rain the Lightning, just with different, you know, track listing. There is the back. So you got some pictures. So yeah, pretty nice. And the inside is white and black with some pictures and lyrics. So, uh, yeah. The lyrics on this album are very good, by the way. Um, then you have this one picture that's a pretty iconic shot, you know, with them, like, flipping you off and shit. And, like, you know, in, like, their apartment or house where you're surrounded, like, trash and empty beer bottles, but, yeah, all thank yous. Um, but, yeah, um, and it's just a kick-ass album. It's, it's so good. It's a classic. A lot of people say this is the best metal album ever, and it's the best thrash album. Uh, as far as it being the best thrash album, honestly, I'd probably go with Rain and Blood from Slayer or this. Just because something about that one has an extra thrashy kick while this one has elements of some other stuff besides thrash. It all has some elements of like progressive rock. It also has some elements of traditional metal. While Rain and Blood was just straight up thrash, all killer, no filler. And while this one, it's like, there's no filler on here, but it's just something about Rain and Blood is more thrashy. I get a better example of thrash. Uh, this one, a lot of people say it's the greatest metal album of all time. I don't really know what album would be the greatest metal album of all time, to be honest. Um, that, that's a very difficult debate. But this is certainly one of the best metal albums ever made. Um, so it opens up with Battery, excellent song. One of my favorite Metallica songs. Um, same deal as on Fight Fire with Fire from Ride the Lightning. Um, acoustic intro, um, except this acoustic intro on here sounds a lot more original. And um, just really cool. And then it, it breaks into the song, which has a very heavy tremolo picked riff. And just very cool. Um, one of the best Metallica songs. Not very heavy for, in general, obviously, but, you know, like, uh, very heavy for a Metallica song, I guess. Uh, Master of Puppets is, um, probably one of the most, definitely one of the most popular Metallica songs. It's, it's very good. Um, I don't really have much to say. Ten minutes long, the epic guitar solos in here, great riffs, just, uh, just a perfect song, really. There isn't really much that, about that song, or that's bad, or really anything about that song, for that matter, that's bad. Um, I don't know, it's just a great song. So, yeah, Master of Puppets. Uh, the thing that should not be is underrated. Um, it's really, really good. It's like the, um, the For Whom the Bell Tolls of this album, except it's a lot heavier and it's a little bit slower. And it's really, really good. Um, just really ri good riffs that, like, stick in your head. So, yeah, Welcome Home Sanitarium is excellent. It's, I definitely prefer it over Fade to Black. And it's so cool how they, like... I don't know how the lyrics are about, like, a, a mental patient or whatever. It's just really, a really awesome concept for a song. Um, especially by a band like Metallica that pulls off, um, I guess, ballads really well. Which is weird for a thrash metal band. But, yeah, Welcome Home Saturn is just an awesome song, really. And it has so many just great riffs and just awesome. And the chorus is very good. Um, but, yeah. Um, it's kind of an eerie sounding song, too, in the chorus. Um, like, you know, it's just like, Santa, Terry, you know, I don't know, it's just... It's just such a good song. One of my favorites on here. Probably my favorite on here. I don't know. 
Disposable Heroes is excellent. Just full of, it's really, it actually kind of sounds a little bit like a Slayer song in a lot of parts. And then another song, another part also sounds like a Metallica song, which is weird. But it, uh, oh, I mean a Megadeth song, which is weird. But it sounds a lot like a Slayer song, which is, I don't know, like it's weird, I guess, for Metallica. Because they don't really go as fast as Slayer. Um, but there's like a lot of riffs on here that sound very Slayer-esque. And it's a great song. It's, you know, it's fast pretty much all the way through. And yeah, it's also one of those songs where it's like you think it's going to end at one part, and then it just keeps on going. It's very long, and there, pretty much every song on here is like five to ten minutes long. I don't think there's a song on here that's under five minutes, but yeah, great song. Labor Messiah is underrated, but at the same time, it's kind of overrated for being underrated, if that makes sense. But that's the most commonly stated underrated Metallica song. Like when people say what Metallica song is overrated, un un underrated, they usually say Leper Messiah or Leaper Messiah. I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, but it's it's great. Um, uh, really awesome riffs and very dark lyrics. And just an excellent song. Uh, Orion is okay. A lot of people like that song. Personally, it's not my favorite. Um, for me, Metallica, I've never been the best at doing instrumentals, but it's decent. It just doesn't fit. It has a lot of prog rock elements. I obviously, it's just like a 10-minute instrumental. I don't know, but for me, an instrumental has to be short in order for it to entertain me, really. I'm not a huge fan of instrumentals on albums full of songs with lyrics. Just because it's not interesting to me, but Orion is very good. I don't know. The riffs are very different, too. They're um, a lot less heavy and more like like a rock song kind of riffs. I don't know. And then okay, it closes with Damage Incorporated, which is the second heaviest song on here next to Battery. It's so cool. And that song is packed with a lot of rage. And that's a really cool song title, too, Damage Incorporated. But anyways, it's a heavy song for Metallica. It's really good, very fast, and just awesome, awesome song. Um, and yeah, um, 10 out of 10, like once again, classic. Um, a lot of people hate Metallica, a lot of people love Metallica. Personally, I used to be a hardcore Metallica fan when I first got into metal. No, I still like, I'm still a fan of their early stuff, but I don't really like anything other than really um, the first four albums. Um, I own quite a lot of their discography, but this is really where Mel started for me. Um, Master Pub, it's, it's just a classic. And if you want to get your friends into metal, or anyone into metal, this is definitely a good way, um, way place to start. What's hilarious too is that a lot of my friends are getting into metal now. Um, but yeah, Master Puppets is just a classic. And go listen to it if you haven't, and if you haven't, um, I don't, and you, and you like, like metal, like, what the fuck, like, that's really abnormal. Um, even if you don't like Metallica, and you haven't heard Master Puppets, that's weird. I don't know. But yeah, Master Puppets is an amazing album, and I can't praise it, um, anymore, really. Uh, the production on here is very good, too, by the way. It's, it's better than Ride the Lightning, because it's a little bit more crisp. But I just prefer the production on Injustice for All. Even though a lot of people hate the production on that album, I just like the raw sound it, it adds to the experience. But yeah. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, I forgot this. Was, I thought this would be a lot longer of a video. But anyways, yeah. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.